Today we're testing our RG8, that's a UL752 level eight makeup. This is an IGU. That's a quarter inch tempered thermal pane with a half inch air gap for energy efficiency. That pane is gonna break when the bullet hits it as it's supposed to, and the bullet's gonna hit the thicker ballistic part of that makeup, and it's gonna stop the bullet. This is rated, again, UL752 level eight for a AK47 308 762 rounds. Then we're gonna try a bunch of other rounds after that. Over here is our RG4, which is a level four designed to st stop a 30-06 rifle round, sniper round, if you will. And we're gonna also test that. That is not an IGU, that's not an insulated unit, that's a single pane monolithic. So let's go ahead and test them. Today we're set up to closely emulate the UL752 laboratory conditions. We're roughly 14 feet away from the target, shooting AK47 308 rounds. These are 150 grain full metal jacket, lead core, military ball rounds. These are traveling roughly 3,000 feet per second. And we are shooting from an AR-10 today, not an AK-47 due to some of the range rules, but it is a very similar condition. And you can see that that front pane of glass is just a thermo pane. That is solar band high performance glass, part of an IGU or insulating glass unit. And of course that glass is gonna fall out of the way. And then the rounds are stopping when they hit the thicker ballistic portion of that unit. You'll also see in today's test that not only does this level eight glass stop the AK-47 round, but it also stops several other types of weaponry and ammunition. Before we get back to the test, I want to discuss this glass you see flying out of the back of the window there. That's called spall. That's not actually the bullet going through, although it really does look like the bullet's going through. It's not, and we'll show you the back of the unit there to, to show that the bullet is not going through, but what's happening is that very high level of kinetic energy from the bullets impacting the glass. The bullet spreads out and gets lodged in the glass, but the, the energy continues through, breaks the glass on the inside layer, and that glass breaks into tiny fragments and flies into the room. Underwriters Laboratories dictates that in order for a piece of glass to have the Underwriters Laboratory official logo on it, it has to be a no spall unit, meaning that there's polycarbonate on that inside safe innermost layer. A lot of customers don't want that polycarbonate on the inside because over many years, 10 to 15 years of cleaning, it could become damaged more easily than glass. So they opt for what we call a modified UL spec. It won't have the UL logo on it, but it will still stop the same round that the UL logo will have. It will have spall, whereas the Underwriters Laboratory polycarbonate inner light will not spall. It catches all the spall from the kinetic energy and you don't get the glass in the room. So we can make it either way, and this is really a customer choice, and we will work with you through that thought process, ultimately to get the perfect glass for your situation. No penetration, no penetration, no penetration. No penetration, no penetration. After verifying that the RG8 IGU did stop the 7.62 rounds as per the UL752 level eight criteria, we decided to break out the tempered outer light so we could better see and capture the view from the inside of the subsequent rounds that we were gonna shoot at it. So now we're gonna shoot it with a nine millimeter, 45 ACP rifle, 12 gauge slug, 12 gauge double op buck. AR-15. We're also gonna smash it with a sledgehammer and a baseball bat. In the end, none of these rounds or the abusive attacks make it through this window. So this is a DP-12 bullpup shotgun. We're gonna do double out bug followed by slug. So this is the AK-47 rounds. This is the shotgun's slug. This is the double op buck, nine millimeter, and 45 ACP. It's not even broken in here. Smooth as a baby's bottom. This isn't even broken from the shotgun. This one is, the slug broke it, but it's no penetration. No penetration on any of these. The, the glass spalled off the back a little bit. 
because this is a low spall makeup, but there's no penetration. Let's do some damage. Let's see, the ultimate test. All right, that was an AR-15. No penetration. Hold. So out of that whole assault, not one round went through. Here we go. Go ahead. Oh, my bat. Let's go sledge. <laughs> okay, here's a final look after all of those different rounds and all of that sledgehammer and baseball bat abuse. We have kept the bad guy and the bullets out of the building. Incredibly violent attack, multiple attackers with heavy tools for a prolonged period of time. That's the Bright Glass RG8. Next up is the RG4. This is a monolithic piece of glass designed to stop a 30-06 rifle. This is a 30 caliber, 180 grain, lead core, soft point round. The criteria for UL 752 level four is one round between 2,540 and 2,794 feet per second. And that is a lot of power from only 14 feet away. And we have complete success. It stopped the 30 caliber round from the 30-06 rifle as intended and as per the UL 752 level four criteria. No penetration. So like the RG8, this comes in either low spall or no spall. This particular test panel that you witnessed today is the LS, so it does have glass on the innermost layer, but you can order this either way. If you're worried about spall, Order the regular RG4 and it's got polycarbonate on the innermost light and it will not spall. All of this can sound a little bit complicated, maybe a little bit intimidating, even for some of the more seasoned security professionals, because you may not specialize specifically in fenestration security, that is security for windows and glass doors. That's what we're here for. We partner up with a lot of security professionals to make sure that you get the right product for your client, for your building, for your campus. You can reach out to Right Glass anytime and we will work with you throughout the whole entire process. And as you've been listening, you've also been watching us put this RG4 LS through an incredibly difficult and trying assault. As Scott continues to smash it with a sledgehammer here, this took way more than the specified UL 752 level four single round from a 30-06. It took all of these rounds and not one made it through. So if you really wanna keep the bad guys and their bullets and their weapons out of your building, the RG4 LS is very popular. We also have a patented framing system that we can retrofit this into virtually any building inexpensively and quickly, much more so than completely replacing your whole glazing system. So this may be something to consider. What's your take on that, Scott? It's unbelievable. Been working on the same spot, couldn't get through it. Still as solid as a rock. Thank you.